Hey guys, Omni here. We are back for episode five of season three of the Umbrella Academy. After everything that happened in the last episode, we are just going to jump right into this. Hope everybody had a safe and happy new year. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and slip right into this thing because I need to know what happened to Klaus. I need to know what's going to happen with Victor and Harlan after this revelation. There's a lot of things that I, I just need to get into, man. Remember, if you want to see the full-length reaction to any of these episodes, you can check those out over on Patreon or if you become a member of the channel, it gets you access as well. They are in watch-along format, so you will need your own footage to sync up with the time codes to be a reaction to the entire thing. Over there, you also get to suggest and vote on what movies to react to each month. We got monthly Q&As, behind-the-scenes footage to try to make it worth your while since you are going to way support the channel. But of course, I know not going to do that. And a simple way you can help us out is by subscribing if you're not already and hitting that like button because it really does help us out a great deal over here. With that all said and out of the way, guys, let's go ahead and hop into episode five, The Kindest Cut. Here we go. Okay. Okay, we're starting with Klaus. Thank God. This was my biggest hang up after the, after last episode. He's back in the other the other side. Why is this shirt the always the only thing that uh, has collar? But could you just please tell me which way that I'm supposed to go? Hmm. Is that the door to the crypt where he was locked in before? Yes! Holy shit! It is! Dad. Experiment number 73, 12 hours and 22 minutes. Restarting the timer to reanimation. Wait, what? Are we learning that he's died before? Is that what's happening? And he can... So these weren't near-death experiences. Wow. Actual death experiences. Oh my God. Oh, I love it. The emblems are in his eyes. No, not until you tell me the truth. Oh. <laughs> uh. Oh, that's a great framing right there. Why? It was an accident. 27 dead women is not an accident. 27 dead women. Okay, there it goes. That's the the missing kids, man, from the opening. And on the day she died, I felt you again. Here. And I reached out. It wasn't you. It was our mothers. You connected to them. Damn. I terrified. I was right. Something. I could feel their pain, their scream so loud, like a storm in my head, tearing me apart. I tried to break the connection. I couldn't. Thank God it was just an accident, though. After that, I just hid myself away, just to be safe. Until now. Damn, that sucks. Yes, you are. I got you. What? I got you, you still got your voice. Okay? Just breathe for me, baby. Flashback? I mean, it's gotta be, right? Or a dream, maybe. I need to tell your family what I did to them. No, no. Harlan, what you did had bigger consequences, so we have to be very careful how we tell them. Consequences? Not quite. Hey. Right. Did Harlan do that? Oh, we just got in a disagreement. <sighs> what? It doesn't matter. So I just checked the perimeter. We're good. But now, we're gonna have to take turns. <gasps> oh my god, what happened to you? Was it Harlan? What? Oh god. I appreciate your concern, but I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to fix it. What's going on? Who is gone? <laughs> Finally! You have the briefcase? We've been looking for this. Yeah, that's toast. Aww. 
right. You're happy to see me. What's wrong? Turns out there's less time to hold grudges than I had planned. You're off the hook. No. Oh. <laughs> Did you and Allison get into some kind of fight last night? Hell yes. <laughs> Quit the chit chat, all right? Call the family meeting here. That means you too. Who's close? Dead. Ish. Lost another. Great. Spit it out, five. Oh, well, since you asked so nicely, sister mine, our. <laughs> Stan! Stan! What is all this? Acid. What? He's trying to burn the body! You know my own mess. I just have to thank you for teaching me such a valuable lesson and personal responsibility. He's trying to dispose of the body. Blood on you. I'm your dad. Um, okay. But you gotta promise you won't be pissed. Oh, what? What did you do? Nothing. And you were gonna dissolve the body? I didn't know what else to do, okay? You were gonna eat me. And I All this stupid shit Klaus used to do. I used to think he could survive anything, and now he's dead. I'm really, really sorry. How long does it take for him to come back? I'm your mother. Of course. Is that Menudo? Yes. Good stuff. Wow. Wait, really? So how can you be my mom if you died before I was born? How have you died 56 times and come? 56? You know that I was doing What did you think you were doing? I just thought I was one of those lovable, rascally Looney Tunes characters. Hit me on the head with a hammer and I see some cartoon birds and then pop, I get back up. What's a cartoon? Oh, Mmm. I'm kidding. <laughs> the channels here but mostly i watch you no no wonder you can't see what's right in front of you all along buffalo what is with this fucking buffalo no it's impressive whoever knocked off your mom's hated you all enough to end the entire universe we don't know that mm. damn thing we just have to kick its ass oh really how are you and diego gonna punch it in the kugel <laughs> Playing a game. What's it called? Guy in a carpet. I hope you win. What the fuck? <sighs> oh, dude, dude, slow down. You were dead like three minutes ago. Like dead, dead. All right. So oh, I'm back now. Apparently, it's like a thing I do. It's... And it's orange. What would happen if we were to cut off your head? Would it grow two of you? Stan, would it? We don't need to test that theory, but I will tell you, I don't think the world could handle two Klauses. Oh, just a spear gun to the chest. No big deal. What are we missing? The universe is ending, and we are all going to die. <laughs> What the? It's time to see what's fuck. on your side. Uh, it would be a whole lot of nothing, though, right? Hey, watch it, grab her. Uh oh. Oh! 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 All right, well, I guess I'm not gonna get any answers about all these people in here. Yep, snapped it. Don't we need the big, bad, glowy thing in their basement? It's in the old storage room that mom used to keep all our luggage. Why didn't you tell anyone? I did, I told you. <laughs> you say stupid shit all the time. Of course it appeared in the same Yeah, and you didn't believe him. None of you do whenever he says anything re legitimate. Let's... There's only four of them left. We can just overpower them. Well, and risk losing some of us in the process. Harland is insignificant. You told me once that no one is insignificant. Mm. The 
they'll kill him. We are talking about one person versus saving billions of lives, yeah? I mean, is this really a debate for you people? Hey, little Britain! <laughs> Five days ago, he was just a little kid. And what, now I'm supposed to just decide whether he lives or dies? The kindest cut wins. <sighs> this sucks. This is really... I'm not okay with this. This thing won't budge. Together on three. Okay. One, two, three. Looks as yes. Now you are going to take all this back to where you got it. And next time you steal, I expect it to be something valuable. Okay. Honestly, we need to set higher expectations. <laughs> you know, you're a less terrible father than I thought you'd be. Wait, what was that? Sexy dad is kind of eternal. <laughs> what is in that secret room? No! Mm. I just said I'd go see Sloan, so I'm good. You're blowing me off for some knockoff you've known for five minutes? What do you even want from me? Wow. Oh, come on, be honest. If you had Ray and Claire back, would you even be here? But they're not back, are they? Yeah, and I get that you need a distraction, but you can't use me for that. I can if I want to. What? Oh, well, I mean, yes, she could if she wanted to, I guess. But that. I heard a rumor you stay. Please don't do this. I heard a rumor. You want me. You want me. You want me. Oh, my God. Stop! What, what was going? What was happening? What did? He, what was that? What, what? What was that? Was he fighting it or? Okay. You're gonna go with Allison for a bit. What about you? I'll join you as soon as I can. I promise. Okay, go. Ah, after that, I don't trust Allison, man. Where's Harlan? He's gone. I will find another way. Well, congratulations, Victor. You managed to destroy everything. <laughs> Again. <sighs> I saw my future self die. It's the exact same thing happened to me, but I didn't hold me die. Not to say it did, but it's gonna keep died. Oblivion. Mention Oblivion. Is this your skin? I'll be damned if I go out with an old... There's a goat on there. The symbol of the biker gang, the Mothers of Agony. You know them? They were, uh, how do I put it, my pharmacistas. Because, <laughs> you know... Thank you, guys. Uh-oh. God damn it, I was really hoping... Somebody would mention that Oblivion is afoot. Is that a ball gag? <laughs> yeah, can we... Um... for you oh what oh yeah, why how have I gone this long and not been like where's Pogo in this timeline oh my god what's his background been like after all this Last time we saw him was in season two as a baby w trotting off with Reggie. Did Reggie have a falling out with fucking everybody? That that has to mean that this the five that was running the commission was the five from that this timeline where he got that tattoo at this shop. Unless in the previous timelines as well, he still was a part of this biker gang? Or was Pogo always a part of this biker gang and we're only just now finding this out? Like even like the OG like... 
Alfred Pogo. Gosh, the Klaus revelation. I was like, okay, what is the extent of his power? Maybe there is something more than this to it that we still don't yet know. I mean, hell, he fucking communes with God when this when this happens. So like, it's just, it's wild that he he's he is immortal. I mean, maybe he'll die of old age because he does age. He's died what fifty some times, and he just comes back. And he just thought he was lucky the entire time that like he he cheated death each time. I mean, he did, but not in the way that he thought. So that make, oh God, that makes the Reggie locking him in the crypt that much worse. Cause he was like, you can come out when you're done or whatever. He's like, he was hungry or whatever he wanted out. He was afraid of the dark. It's cause he was trapping him in there, starving him to death so he would die. So we can time how long it takes him to come back from the dead. I thought it was like hit for to be so that he would become less afraid. And maybe this was part of it, become less afraid of communion with spirits, literally putting them in a crypt with these, these souls. But it's so much worse than that. Oh, now that I'm thinking about it and Harlan's entire existence is just so tragic, man. I, I agree with Victor, man. I, I don't know what to do in this situation, but I don't think just handing over Harlan is the right way to go. I would imagine in the state of things right now, if they were to learn he killed all of their parents, even if it was unwilling or not, or unknowing or not, and just an accident, I think they'd kill him. I don't think Harlan's safe no matter where he goes right now, depending on how this information comes to light. Like, I know there's another way to go about this, and I get where the team is coming from, but I don't know. It's a shitty situation. Uh, the kindest cut wins. I'm glad Victor's standing up for himself, though, finally. Like, it's a huge 180 from where Victor started off the series in. I do like that they called him out on it. It was like, well, thank you. You know, you are the cause of all this bullshit yet again. I mean, that's true. I mean, it's true. It's, it's accurate. Had he not saved Harlan, this anomaly may still have happened. At least this alternate timeline, maybe a paradox would have formed, but not like this. Because they did alter time. Reggie did change the timeline. And they would have not been umbrellas. They would have still been out there. So we would still be in an altered timeline. The reason, though, that they are... I, the reason I think that they're still able to be around, right? I don't think they've ever really gone into that because they shouldn't exist, but they do. And I think that's because of this Google Blitz. Because of it, uh, the laws of time are just kind of being destroyed right now. It's all crumbling around them. And, you know, as these anomalies have stacked upon one another, it's only strengthening it. I think they're just this, these remnants that are lingering behind. I don't know, it's really interesting. I like the way that it's playing around with all of this. Stan had the weirdest reactions after this once revealing that he killed Klaus to Diego. Immediately just trying to burn and hide the body and melt it away with hydrofluoric acid like he was watching Breaking Bad or something. That was hilarious though. And then them trying to get Klaus's body back. I would have liked to have seen that conversation had they trotted Klaus's body down to the family meeting and, you know, while everybody was trying to figure out what to do next, then he woke up. That would have been hilarious. The way it happened was still kind of fucking hilarious in the elevator. But what's in this room? What is this white buffalo? Because, like, you're, you're not seeing what is exactly in front of you. And his mother showed him, like, in his stew or cereal or whatever the fuck that was. Again, there's something important in that room. Reggie's linked to it. We know that much, but how and to what extent? I don't know, but there's some light on the other side of that. Is this his spaceship? Is this building like an arc? Is this, I don't fucking know what's going on. Robo Grace tried to look on the other side of the Google Blitz and just saw what a million eyes looking all within itself. So just reality folding in on itself like a black hole, like a singularity. So that adds up lost her eye just like ben and everybody and and the main team right now seems to be very fixated on harlan as a sticking point where there's very much so a bigger thing here where faye is like why why are we worried about this old man we need to fix this and i i agree with faye i think faye's the smart one here in this whole situation ben's kind of a, a dumbass. he's just so stubborn and so stuck on this as he's just his pride is getting in the way of this whole debacle right now and i think that's 
I don't think that's the main thing about the the umbrellas as well, where they, they feel like the best and most logical play right now is to use Harlan as this bartering chip to get their access to the thing without as much bloodshed as possible. Because like you said, if we did go storming in the place or whatever, there's a chance we could lose one of our own in the combat. And that would just make things harder on themselves, which I do get. But hell, I, I think if you, if you went in there with Lila, Dude, Lila could fuck them all up. Lila alone should be able to fuck them all up. Lila is the fucking key here. And hell, I don't think the Sparrows could take Harlan and Victor. Like if they stormed the place. To be, Let's be real. I don't think they could. They got caught off guard last time and they were trying to be a little diplomatic initially. Am I missing anything in this? Oh, yeah. Like, I get it. I've talked about this. I wholeheartedly understand Allison's frustration. But none of that excuses at all what she just did to Luther. That was upsetting. And I don't know what was happening there when she was trying to get him to stop. Was he holding his breath? What was happening there? Cause he was kind of like, he having a little bit of an episode. Cause we've seen people resist it or at least try and it just causes more damage to them fighting the, 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 the message. Harlan was reaching out. That revelation makes me feel a little bit better about it because I was trying to figure out like how this would have worked and it, it, it was subconscious. Like when he reached out, his powers just kind of tapped into his mind as he was like trying to reach out. You know, he's thinking of Victor and at that point in time, his power linked him with the only part of Victor that was around at this time and that was them gestating within their mothers. And that power connected to all these other people just by extension through whatever it is that they gave them all this power. Again, Klaus's healing factor also radiates this very same orange glow. Ah, there's so much about this that I, I, I really, I need some fucking answers, man. I don't really know what else to say. So we're going to pass it off to you. Sound off the comments. Let me know your thoughts down below. We'll carry on the conversation after the video. Remember, if you want to see the full-length reaction, check it out over on Patreon or if you become a member of the channel, gets you access as well. Speaking of, before we go, I want to shout out our channel legends. Manny Share, Ryan, Karen, Philly Vane, New York, Corey Scott, Margaret Grace, Melita, Robert Anguiano, Raven McGann, Jeffrey Hale, M. Sephiroth, Jake Contrell, and Amy Beck. I thank you guys so much for continuing to support. But that's it for this video, guys. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody.